Lions cornerback Cameron Sutton is wanted in Florida. The local sheriff's office there posted this picture on X. Sutton, who is 29 years old, is accused of choking someone. Now, he played for the Lions last season and is under contract through 2025. Earlier today, we spoke with the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. And we're hoping either someone in the community knows where he is um, and is able to tell us that information, or two, maybe Cameron Sutton sees this and, and does the right thing and turns himself in. The Lions have released this statement saying, quote, we became aware of the ongoing legal situation involving Cam Sutton this morning. We will continue to monitor the situation and will not have further comment at this time. And when it comes to the NFL and domestic violence, according to market research firm Gitnex, between 2010 and 2014, players were arrested 85 times for domestic violence. And in 2016, at least 44% of players with a domestic violence charge were still on the roster the following season. Let's bring in WWJ and 97.1, the ticket sports reporter Jeff Lesson. Thanks for joining us today, Jeff. Always a pleasure. So first, what do you make of that statement? It was kind of one of those very professional statements, not really making a statement kind of things. What do you make of that? I'm not surprised. Lines have to wait uh, for three things. Number one, they have to wait uh, for him to hopefully be found where he hasn't hurt himself and let the case play out. The NFL is going to make a ruling likely once he is found, probably put him on the exempt list. Uh, which means he'll be suspended while the case is pending, won't be able to play in the NFL. And the Lions, my guess, will wait to do anything until the NFL does something. And again, there's three sides to this. There's the human side, the legal side, and the football side. And I think in that order of importance, the human side, we hope Cam Sutton is still okay, hasn't done anything to hurt himself. But we're a little worried about that because, uh, you know, uh, He's been gone on the lam for two weeks. He's shut off his phone so they'd be unable to track him. And uh, he's got to be aware there's a warrant out for his arrest. So we haven't heard him or seen from him in two weeks. Uh, of course, we also hope the victim is okay if the allegations are true. And apparently she was found with some injuries by the Hillsborough County Police. Then there's the legal side. You know, the legal side says you don't jump to conclusions. You wait until someone's proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. But the NFL has a deal with the Players Association. They're allowed to suspend a player while a case is pending. And my guess, as soon as he is found, if he is found uh, and prosecuted, as, as he will be if he is found uh, and not hurt himself terribly, that uh, he'll be suspended pending the outcome. Then, of course, there's a football side, which is – my submit is the least important of the three. When you have human beings involved, you hope they're both okay and the legal side come first, uh, second, that is. The football side is what will the Lions do? He was their starting cornerback. And, yeah, eventually they'll probably get some salary cap relief and they may get out of paying him on his contract if it turns out the allegations are true. And I fear that, you know, the fact he hasn't turned himself in is going to take an action to uh, you know, not be found, uh, I suspect uh, the world is turning against him at this point. Uh, the Lions have been getting some good press lately, for the most part, especially after that historic season. How damaging could something like this be for the brand? Well, I mean, uh, I, I wouldn't be too concerned about the brand. Of course, their mantra is they're going to change the culture. They don't want any bad eggs, and we're getting ahead of ourselves by assuming the worst and we, we we pause not to assume the worst but you know he hasn't turned himself in it doesn't look good for him it doesn't look good for the team it's been two weeks since an arrest warrant was issued and they've been looking for him uh but you know as far as the football side of it yes he was their starting cornerback but he did not have a good year why is that relevant now well uh, the stats show that you just presented at 46 percent of athletes charged with similar crimes have remained in NFL rosters within a year. I would submit that those 46% have been outstanding players, uh, like the quarterback with the Cleveland Browns, who had allegations about a massage therapist, who ended up with one of the biggest contracts in NFL history. Cam Sutton is not coming off a good year. Uh, if the Lions, and they are owing him, he has $9 million due to him this year. However, 
There's usually a morals clause in an NFL contract, and this may be one way for the Lions to get out of that contract and get some salary cap relief at the same time. However, this is the least important matter because there's a human side, like we said, then the legal side, and then the football side, and we hope both parties are okay. Yeah, so when it comes to the morals clause and things like that, Jeff, how would you describe the NFL's track record when it comes to responding to domestic violence accusations and beyond? Well, it hasn't been good. Uh, they've been criticized in the past for not being nearly strong enough. And so I would submit that since 2016, uh, they've been tougher. And you had the elevator incident with Joe Mixon, the running back, who is back in the league playing for the Cincinnati Bengals. But he was shown uh, literally punching his significant other in the face, and that was on camera. And when that became public, the suspension became harsher. But he's back in the league because he is a very talented player. But like I said, there's a sliding scale. He may get another chance if these allegations prove to be true. It'll depend on circumstance. And, uh, you know, we have to let it play out. And, but the NFL is getting tougher and tougher because of the negative publicity they've received for not being hard enough on these types of situations in the past, Shana. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll keep watching for it. Jeff, thank you for joining us tonight. Yeah, maybe one day I'll get in with some good news is breaking. You never know. <laughs> we We're will due. see you then. Thanks, Jeff.